Hello guys and welcome to another UK Card Club card review video. Today we're going to be looking at the Carnival Inferno deck. Now, those of you that watch uh, my previous videos, any decks that involve the word Carnival, I get excited about. I'm a big fan of Sam Hale's Dose Productions. I love his, uh, I love his artwork. I love his dark style. Um, and again, Carnival. So I'm presuming. <laughs> Never presume, but I'm presuming this is again designed by Sam Hales. Um, it's brought to you by CarnivalInc.com. Uh, some of the Carnival decks are brought by Big Blind Media, which is interesting. This has like a see. I removed the seals prior to the video because it takes a bit of time because I like removing them and I've got a bit sticky on it. But it's got like a sort of almost like old soggy deck of cards look or an old book. You got the Carnival Inferno design at the front there with the Sort of two rams, two skulls, sort of almost sideways symmetrical design. You've got the back here, which is stunning. You know, we've got the uh, sort of gas masked men. You've got the K for carnival. There's a couple of skulls hidden in there. Middle symmetrical. It says at the bottom here, manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. Doesn't have a date. Cracker open and have a look inside. So, oh, I think I've bent that more than I'd like to, but I'll open it. So, inside, uh, I'd had a quick look before um, settling to record the video. So, you've got a blank facer here, which, as I said in my previous videos, um, usually when you have a blank facer that isn't just white, it's a good indicator that um, the rest of the deck is going to have custom faces so in here we've got one joker there uh, which is almost sort of representative of an angel because in the opposite there's a sort of horned version which in my opinion is a you know angel devil opposition and uh, it's quite interesting because uh, having a look through the faces this sort of devil theme is kind of included as we go through. Now, obviously, as this deck's mixed up a bit, it's hard for me to uh, show you in order, but maybe I look. The Ace of Spades, very nice. Um, I like the fact it's sort of got the vertical mirrored sort of flames design. And you've got the little skull there in the middle. It's very cool, the red on black with the sort of mixture of old used parchment style colours. So continuing on, the faces, all they all have this sort of, um, you'll see it from the blank facer. It's almost like a fireball with uh, lines coming off of it. Kind of, uh, I like it, it's almost looking like, it's almost like you're looking into the pit of hell. But you see here with the joker, the little pitchfork. Again, the deck being mixed up, it's quite hard for me to show you this, but also I like the fact that the sort of reds are outlined in black, makes them stand out a lot more than usually would. And also out, sort of out, outlined on the uh, the edge of the red and on the outside of the the black, there's like a the slight parchment colour. Again, the queen, they've incorporated like the flower she may have in there. Uh, other decks but then they've also kept the pitchfork theme going same with the king it's like a sword handle but with a pitchfork on the end of it again there pitchfork pitchfork through the head that's got a hurt <laughs> yeah the, the aces are what really caught my attention they're all sort of varying degrees of uh, spooky skull and uh, there's a more vivid red on the red ones, as you can see there, and a slightly sort of duller red on the blacks. I think it's really cool. It helps you differentiate. Um, if you remember back to my Starlight review, I had quite an issue because it was quite hard to, to, to sort of differentiate between the two suits because they were all the same colour. So even when... The majority of the black is covered by red and obviously the majority of the red's red but it's got black in it you can still easily distinguish between the two 
which is good when it comes to magic because when you're performing for people who don't necessarily know a deck of cards as well as you do they might uh, find that frustrating to and it may it may take away from some of the magic well some of the magic in the magic you do but uh, we look at the back design there which is obviously on the box here it's slightly dulled down colors if we have a if we can focus on this quickly if you have a look at the difference between the two it's slightly more vivid on the back but i like the way it's got the more softer um parchment look to it on the on the back of the deck beautifully handling just like you'd expect from the uspcc um air cushion finish and again they're just very 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 cool um but as i said i've always been a big fan of uh sam hales uh is that how would you say it? Sam Hales is Sam Hales artwork, um, and yeah, this doesn't disappoint. It's actually a really unique deck. It's very cool, I like the sort of old withered parchment look to it. Really brings brings something to the deck for me, and the black and red combo with the sort of red trim. Um, I just I just really like it. It's a really really nice deck. Um, yeah, I'm uh, glad I have this one. There are some decks that I do own that I, I I don't mind either way. You know, happy to have them. Happy, I wouldn't I wouldn't be bothered if I lost them. But this is a deck that I really I really like. I might put it back into new deck order and just not touch it again. Keep it in good condition. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and uh, I'll catch you next time when uh, we're reviewing something else.